case some of you don't know who, I'm at, who I am, I'm Gene Winfield. I have a shop in Mo Mojave, California. In fact, I have a show there every October. So if any of you ever, you know, out that way or in October, give me a call and come to my car show. And I get people from all over the world, France, Germany, Italy, Australia, New Zealand, you name it, Japan. Anyway, I'm gonna take this and run it through the wheel. Let's get one with a little bit more curve. Uh, that's too much at first. How about this one? Yeah, I'm gonna put a wheel, the bottom die in here with just a slight bit of radius because I'm putting a radius in here. And I'm gonna roll out the walnuts now. <clears throat> now I'm gonna leave it very loose at first and just roll it back and forth a few times. Tighten it up a little bit. And I keep rolling it. You can turn it. Tightening it up again. Now, if you have not ever used a wheel, what I'm doing at the end of each stroke, I turn it very slightly. See, as I turn it just slightly, and that allows me to walk back and forth across the panel. You see, it just I do it automatically without thinking. Anyway, now I've got the walnuts out of it. You see, it's pretty smooth, but I want more shape. So I'm gonna pound it again walnuts in it. Let's go for the next uh, uh, tighter radius or, the, or maybe, yeah, that one. Go ahead and put that in. Now I'm stretching it pretty good. Now when I'm stretching it in the center, it's wrinkling over here a little bit, which I'll show you how we'll straighten that out. I have workshops at my place twice a year. Uh, my next workshop will be November 22nd and 23rd in Mojave, California. Now I'm gonna put it back in. Now listen to the click when I bring it out. See, that tremendous pressure on that wheel. Uh, you can put so much pressure that pretty soon it won't go in, you know. I'll show you an example. See, so I, I have to roll it to get it in there. Hear the click? Tremendous. So now I've got, I've got it fairly smooth in the dome or the blister that I'm developing. And now I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna back it off a little bit. Now I'm pulling down just slightly. In a downward pull, just slightly. It helps increase the movement of the metal. the sander ready for me? Yep, Thank you. So now I have it fairly, fairly flat around the edge, and I have a nice blister, and we're gonna clamp it on over here.